In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can have a switch that is set up for multiple VLANs. In this case this switch has been configured for VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. And there's a PC connected to each VLAN. Uh, the ports have been assigned on the switch to the VLANs. And we can take a quick look at that. So take a look at the switch. Do a show VLAN brief command and you'll see in the show VLAN brief command that this switch has VLANs 10, 20, and 30 created and they're on ports 1, 10, and 15, right? So um, this switch has already been configured to work with these VLANs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to configure a router to route inter VLAN traffic so that it can route packets between the different VLANs so that PC0 here that's on the one network can communicate with PC2 on the 192.168.3 network. So we're going to basically be setting up a situation that's called a router on a stick. Okay, so that's what we're going to need to set up. And to do that, I'm going to click on routers. I'm going to drag out an 1841 router here. And drop it right here. And this switch has already been configured with a um, trunk port. So all I need to do is to connect port 24 on the switch, which has been configured as a trunk, to the router. So I will do that with a straight through cable and I've got to connect it to the switch that port that's been configured as a trunk which is port 24 and I'll configure it, I'll set it to the um, attach the um, Ethernet cable to fast Ethernet 00 on the router so now we have a connection so now what we have to do is configure the router to allow multiple VLANs across this trunk and to do that what we do is we configure the router's Ethernet interface. Instead of config, um, configuring the one Ethernet interface, we configure multiple sub-interfaces. So in this scenario, the router needs to be, needs to be IP address 1.1 for VLAN 10. It needs to be the 1.1 gateway. But this router also needs to be 2.1 for the 2 network, it needs to be the 2 gateway. And for VLAN 30 network, which is the 192.168.3.0 network, it needs to be 192.168.3.1 so that this PC has a gateway. So in other words, this router interface, this one Ethernet interface, it needs to play three roles. It needs to be the gateway 1.1, it needs to be gateway 2.1, and it needs to be gateway 3.1. So we do that by setting up sub-interfaces and enabling a trunking protocol on those interfaces. It's actually really quite simple. So we'll just open up the router and we'll say no get started. There's no configuration on this router. I'm going to go right into global configuration mode here and I'm going to start off and I'm going to say interface FA 0 slash 0 dot 1 to go into sub interface mode. So if I go into interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 1 it actually takes me into sub interface mode which is a virtual interface in place of the actual physical 0 0 interface. And I need first thing I need to do when I get in that sub interface is type encapsulation dot one q and say which VLAN it needs to be a part of. That's going to be part of the 10 VLAN. And then after I've done that, I can give it an IP address. And I'll do so. The one dot one address. I have to give it a subnet mask. and hit enter and now sub interface f0 slash 0 dot 1 has been configured and set to go. I'll do a no shutdown and I might have to do a no shutdown just on the physical fa0 slash 0 interface so that it actually comes up. You can see we haven't gotten a message that the interface has come up at all. So we'll do that afterwards though. So now I'm going to go to interface 
fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and I'll change that to dot 2 and encapsulation dot 1q change that to 20 for the 20 VLAN that enables 802.1q um, VLAN trunking protocol on that interface on VLAN 20 and I'll set the IP address to 2.1 hit enter and now I'm going to do the same thing for interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 3 set the encapsulation dot 1q 30 for the 30 VLAN and change the IP address to 3.1 I'll hit end and then I'll do configure terminal interface FA 0 slash 0 I'll go into that interface and I'll say no shutdown and you can see as soon as I said no shutdown all of the sub interfaces came up I can look at my configuration show run take a look at it you can see here that there's no IP address on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 but there are IP addresses on the sub interfaces dot 1 dot 2 and dot 3 under fast Ethernet 0 0 also I can do a show IP route to look at my routing table and you can see that I have three connected networks here the 192.168.1 network the 192.168.2 network and the 192.168.3 network so I've got those three uh, networks directly connected so this router is ready to route between those three networks so I can close that and now I can test it out by pinging from 1.100 to 3.100 so I'll open up this PC and I will put a ping in here to 3.100 and see if it works and you can see that it can ping across all I had to do is turn the interfaces up and down